Hi Grace, how are you? Thank you for sending in another essay. Wow, you are working super hard. Really impressed. You're doing great here. Really, really good stuff. Uh, okay, so let's go straight into this essay uh, on tickets. Now, uh, here we go. So nowadays people travel a lot. So are traveling a lot or travel a lot and spend. So they are traveling a lot and spend. Uh, you not spending. Wow, let me be more clear. Nowadays people travel a lot and are spending. Let's do it that way. A huge, you can't spend an expenditure. You can spend a huge amount. on tickets and the events. Now, be really careful here. What events do you understand at this pie? So I understand this to be pop concerts or festivals or football matches. Um, but be careful here. You need to really make sure that you don't repeat too much the words in the question. For me, it feels like you're repeating a little bit too much what's in the question here. I think you need to change this around. Um, the positive experience they get is invaluable, yet the negative impact may happen. Okay, there may be a negative impact. Personally, I agree that spending our spending money on events uh, may inflict, ne inflict negative impacts rather than advantages. This essay will argue both sides. Okay, so it's a little bit confused this because I can see what you're trying to do. You're trying to do your general sentence and give your opinion and then this essay. But I think the general sentence needs to be stronger. Okay, so nowadays maybe you can go as many people have more leisure time. So that's telling us this is why uh, leisure time there is more temptation to invest hard earned uh, money or wages on purchasing tickets or events such as football matches or pop concerts. Okay, so for me, this is a much stronger start. So I've shown the examiner that I understand totally what the question is about. People spend a lot of money on these things. And I'm saying, yep, people have more time. So yeah, they're more tempted to spend money on it. Okay, so I think that's really important to get a very strong uh, starting sentence. Um, now, the positive experience may be invaluable. So I would say, whilst Whilst the positive experience they may get is invaluable, comma, the negative, um, this may have a negative impact. Yeah, I would say this may have a negative impact. Personally, I agree that uh, spending money on events could be, I wouldn't use inflict, or I could then, could inflict, because you need to be more uh, hedging, we talk about, more tentative, you're not sure about this, could inflict. Uh, and you can't use negative impact again. Could inf or could why don't we say could result in detrimental, which is another word for negative consequences due to debt. So give me an idea why it might be a bad because you've got no money left. Uh, prob. Okay. Um, it's very, very important to get this right. Uh, da -da -da. So, whilst the positive experience they may get is invaluable, um, it may have negative a negative impact. Personally, you need to have a comma there. Uh, I agree that spending ing money on events could result in detrimental consequences due to debt problems. So, telling me why it might have a bad outcome. Okay. And then this argue. This essay will argue both sides. It's difficult to argue both sides. And maybe I would say I prefer discuss key issues using examples. Okay, so just important to get that intro absolutely right. Um, really, really think about showing the examiner you understand the question. On the one hand, there's ample evidence to show that buying high, buying highly priced. So these both need to be adjectives. 
highly, well, that's an adverb going with the adjective, price tickets. Be careful here, or make sure your grammar is accurate, okay? Such as MotoGP, US or Summer Festival. Uh, is, I need a verb here, is usually not in accordance with the value obtained. A really is usually, we don't know this for a fact. Let's go can often be disappointing. And not, uh, I don't know if we'd say accordance, uh, not consistent, we would say probably with the value, yeah, okay, not consistent with the value obtained, okay. So, it can be disappointing. I'm using a modal verb there because we don't know that for a fact. I'm using often because, again, it's not always and consistent with rather than in accordance with, okay. So, I'm just changing that a bit there. The central reason why this is twofold. Firstly, people who attend these popular events uh, may simply simply be following ing a trend. Okay, may simply be following a trend. Uh, yeah. Okay, a trend for uh, what? A trend because these events are highly advertised or something like that. Give me a bit more here. Secondly, spending. Uh, so you're coming into a gerund. It's the beginning of the sentence. You're using it like the subject. Spending a huge sum of money may significantly cut other priority budgets. Good. For instance, groceries, phone bills. Mm, phone bills. S on the end there. And education. Good. For example, recent info research by the UK government demonstrated that 90% of MotoGP attendants, plural, uh, are college students, plural, uh, who as yet have no income. So the relative clause who, because they're students, who as yet, because they will later hopefully, have, plural now because I've changed it, have no income and use credit cards to pay for their tickets. Um, Grace, come on, there's a masses of mistakes here in your spelling. Uh, these all are plurals. Plural, we have an S on, okay? The examiner will be getting, really noticing that. That's a big mistake here. It's really, really important. Check the grammar here, okay? Check the spelling. It must not be forgotten that, that, comma, although traveling or attending cultural events uh, may, so not are releasing, so wrong tense of verb there, may reduce stress. So we're using may, remember I love these words, may, might, could, these are your friends, use them, uh, reduce stress. People may choose good, affordable trips or expeditions. Uh, you mean they might still do that? They still choose, oh, is he instead? Yeah, yeah. People may instead, let's say, so let's show that we're making a contrast there, choose more affordable, so you're comparing the price, or expeditions. Therefore, it's completely clear that we don't consume, consuming money, um, not in, <laughs> we do, I mean, consuming normally we use for eat, for eating things, um, so you'd have to say investing or allocating. Would also be good. A huge amount of money for tickets may negatively impact people's finances. S. Oh, S here. Okay. On the other hand, although this is a case for new UK New Year events, uh, S. Indus Colour Festival in Japan, Sakura Festival, comma. Um, oh, the case for them to charge. So, although there's a case for them basically to charge uh, very expensively priced tickets, put that back into another, so these would become before the um, noun, very expensive, or tickets at a very expensive price, all right? Okay, let's just see, see. Yeah, at a very expensive price. The positive impact of traveling cannot be overstated. Uh, yeah, we're not really talking about traveling, so careful, link it together, traveling uh, in order to attend these cannot be overstated because we're normally talking about the ticket price, not the actual airfare. This is largely because 
for tickets to one that she's participating. This is lovely because attending events gives invaluable experience. Meeting new people, okay, the, the opportunity to of meeting new people, enjoying, let's keep on with the ING, the exciting atmosphere, so not excited, I am excited, but the thing is exciting, watch out on adjective endings, and releasing stress. For example, if people spent at least one year, okay, um, you have to go, if people attended, attend, okay, if people attend, so don't you spend time, if people attend, a music live concert such as Coldplay, whatever, da, 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 um, at least once a year. So that the time has to come at the end. So if people attend, that's your present tense, uh, such and such, at least once a year, they could meet other fans from around the world and uh, be refreshed or be. Yeah, be refreshed. You could say that after the event. That's really nice. Um, so if you've, uh, you'd have to have attended past tense. Your conditional to work. Okay, if people attended. So a second conditional, really nice. Well done there. Thus, it's possible to state beyond that that a Um, that a huge glass of sunshine. Um, I could maybe that that the cost of the tickets presents a good value. Yeah, I think that might be better. And then you're not just repeating um huge consumption again, which doesn't quite work. Just let's. Cut some of the words and keep it tidy. From the arguments given, I firmly believe that people should consider. Uh, oh, you need another verb here. They should consider purchasing affordable price. Affor aff you need to have tickets affordably priced tickets. On the events here to attend. Um, I may prefer saving money rather than buying tickets. Okay, good. It's predicted that personal consideration for entertainment will increasingly grow in importance, absolutely, as salaries, so a bit more on these sentences, increase. Okay, all right, Grace, good work there. Um, I'm spotting a lot of a uh, little. Uh, uh, so basically, it, it's the, the it's grammar. I mean, no, it's spelling, but actually, it comes under grammar because it's the use of plurals, and it's really, really important in English uh, that you use plurals. Okay. Uh, there's some other issues, um, maybe on the organisation of some of the sentences, and some grammar on the verbs and things. Okay. So just go through the correction really, really carefully. Um, I like your arguments and I like your vocabulary. Um, don't let yourself down on the grammar and the spelling. It's something that is very important in this exam, as you know. Uh, okay, so rainfall. Here we go. Crazy graph. The line graph represents the amount of rainfall. Uh, literally, I know you're trying to paraphrase. Don't worry. So why do you say the amount of rain in England, Scotland, and Wales during 12 months in 2018? Overall, the highest rainfall uh, happened, uh, not was happened, happened similarly in the middle of the year for all three countries, whereas the lowest rainfall occurred differently. Okay, good, nice. In the beginning of the year, rainfall in Scotland was the highest um, level, a year number or level, at over. Either which was over, or maybe here I would just actually simply put at over 100 mil. Um, before then, or before it maybe, which is the rainfall then, significantly fell and reached past simple here its lowest point in February, only 30. Then 
you can't be GAN dramatically increased and reach its peak. Uh, but you could put uh, after which rather than then it dramatically increased. You wouldn't have began it increased. So we're just using past simple basically and reached its peak in March. Like you've got in February there. So in March. England Scotland had the same pattern. Um had the same pattern. Did they though? Mm, not really. Doesn't look the same to me. And the same pattern of rainfall. We could also use this nice word precipitation. Okay, which increased slightly before a steady climb until March and April. Uh, throughout, maybe I'd put here. Uh, 2018, England had the highest amount of rainfall compared to Scotland and Wales, despite Wales overtaking. So here you'd need the ING England in May and July. In the middle of the year from May to August, rainfall, raindrops is literally one drop of rain. That's why I, I don't like that. Or rain fluctuated or precipitation levels fluctuated in all three countries uh, and reached its peak. Yep. In July, but not in all countries, though. Oh, yeah, sorry, yep, got it, well done. Uh, during the last quarter, so not at the last quarter, during the last quarter, rainfall in Wales dropped two under, under 50, whereas England's got experienced. So just again, past simple, don't need that, experienced. A slight decline in rainfall, which was still above 70. From November to December, there was a rise. Watch out the tenses here, basically past tense. In England and Scotland, uh, which amounted to over 100, despite, or maybe not despite, whereas, or while, it's, uh, quite nice contrasting words. So while, whereas, don't put both, but you could have one or the other. The very, very useful words. Wales dropped, you don't need that in there, to 60. Okay, so good answer, Brace, you're fine on that one, but, uh, you know, I like how you've grouped the information, you've picked out the highlights, you've done that well, just watch out on this grammar, don't let the grammar lose you all the marks, okay, because it will. Grammar is 25% of the marks, it's really important to get that right. If you're not sure on tenses, go on your grammar website, whichever one you like using, and check out the grammar, t the tenses, past tenses. Uh, make sure you're really super happy with all that. Well done, though. Good work.